Happy holidays everyone, it's me, it's Benedict. Now, I like to be inclusive, so I want to talk about a group of people that are often overlooked around Christmas. Specifically, people from the Southern Hemisphere. Up here in the north where I am, it is winter, but in places like New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Argentina and Chile, it is the height of summer, so they do Christmas differently. So I thought, what's from the Southern Hemisphere but also wintry? Penguins! Penguins are perfect for a wintry setting. My point being we're talking about a penguin character today, specifically... Chilly Willy. Created by Paul J. Smith for Walter Lance, Chilly's constant quests for warmth proved to be a late career smash for the Lance Studios, making him the second most popular Lance character, after Woody Woodpecker of course. So for this Christmas special I will review his debut, which had a slightly different design for him. The 1953 cartoon called well, chilly willy. So, will this cartoon warm my heart or will it just leave me frozen? We begin on a ship in the Antarctic. Mescat, sleeping again, ah. Where the ship's captain gets drink, rather hot under the collar with his lazy I mascot dog. Sure. And do not let nobody aboard this ship. Nobody. And if you do... Oh, right in the kisser. So with those words, Captain Scott jitters down the gangplank. Funny gag, but isn't that technically impossible? Hold on. Oh, you can get temperatures that low. After that, we meet our titular character, Chilly Willy, singing a gay little tune about his predicament. I'm so very unhappy, there's only grief in you. I'm frozen stiff as a piece of ice. Well, if you wait a couple decades, I'm sure you'll be warm. You'll be dead, but at least you'll be warm. Eventually, Willy finds the ship, and a warm stove. Boy, does this penguin have a death wish or what? I certainly wouldn't do something like that. After he boards and wipes his feet on the dog's tail, Chili gets onto the stove, but just as quickly as getting on, the dog finds him and flips him off. With a spatula, that is. But Chili gets back into the cabin. <laughs> okay, cute gag. The dog takes Chili ashore, but trips and falls into the snow, so Chili rushes back aboard, only for the dog to block his way to the cabin. Then Chili gets the fire hose and, thanks to cartoon physics, pushes the dog off the ship. <laughs> Don't you just love cartoon physics? Then the dog Robin Hoods Chili off the ship, but guess what? Willy slides back on board again. Don't you just hate it when your collapsible ski rab extends up like that? Not that that ever happens to me, mind. Unable to control his mid-air skis, the dog slams into the South Pole, where a trail of signs lead him to... Not since the ancient days of saber-toothed squirrels have we seen such a level of destruction. The crack opens up and... Jeez, cartoon! What do you think you are? Happy tree friends or something? Of course, the dog falls in, and Chili gets him back onto the ship so he can warm him up. Ah, oh, that's a little heart of gold. And Chili loads the dog up on the same grog that the dog has been drinking throughout this short. Free. Unfortunately, the dog is now getting crank! One on me. So crunk, in fact, that he idiotically opens up the bilge hole of the ship, right as Captain Abudzin is returning. So Chili swims up the spout with the bilge cork. And plugs the hole up, saving the ship. Hey, nice save. Would have helped to have a few more sound effects, but hey, you saved the ship. So the captain throws the dog into the brig. <laughs> while Chili is made the ship's new mascot, and given the warm stove. My head feels good, my tail is warm! <laughs> so that was Chili Willy's debut. How do I feel about it? 
I'd say it's alright, even if it is a bit flawed, like how I feel some more sound effects could have been added. The animation is good, though a little rough in places, the comedy works well and the character designs are good too. I mean, Chili's design is really cute. The backgrounds, however, are great, especially the wood texture on the ship. Of course, Chili's cartoons would become a lot better when Walter Lance drafted Tex Avery for the Little Penguin. But as this short stands though, it's definitely pretty fun, and it serves pretty well as a sort of pilot episode to the Chili Willy series. So yeah, if you want to see this, go ahead. Thank you for watching, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah or whatever, I'll see you in the new year. And speaking of the new year, guess whose centenary it is next year? <laughs> That's right, next month I take on the big one. I'll see you then. Sitting on the ice in the ice rink, sitting on the ice with my skates off. It's the finest fun I've ever had. Put it on the ice, it'll never go bad.